Hello, I've got here my Bible. Well, actually, it's only the word Bible. Now, the Bible, some people think it's just a book, but it's in fact, it's 66 books in one. But more important than that, the Bible is the word of God. And it's the power of God over our lives. Now, when we look at the word, the letter B, what do we think? We think the beginning, because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yes, at God's word, this earth that we live in was created. But at the same time of creation, Satan had been let loose. And ever since then, he has tried to undermine the word of God. And people to this day will say, I don't want to read the Bible. It's nothing for me. So they try to destroy it. Then we get the letter I. I is for instruction. In Exodus 20, we have the Ten Commandments. That's God's instructions for our lives. And if we live by those laws, we can live in God's life. But people say, I don't need instructions. I have to do it my way. So therefore, they do away with God's instructions. We have another B. This B is for belonging, because that's what God wants for us. He wants us, that's you and me, to belong to him. He wants us to live with him in eternity. But people say, I don't want to belong to anything. I'm an individual and that's how I'm going to stay. And sure enough, in the end, they will. So they get rid of that. And we're left with an L. That stands for life. It stands for love. It stands for what Jesus does. He loves us and he gave his life for you, for you, and he gave it for me. All we had to do was accept that Jesus Christ is Lord and is Lord of our lives. But people say, I don't want that. I'm in charge. I'm my own boss. So we get rid of that. And that leaves us with E. E can stand for the evil one. The devil who tries his very best to undermine God's power. But he fails. But for some time he does seem to succeed. But in the end, he has failed. He has lost. And he can stand for eternity. Eternity. Now where will you spend eternity? Will it be with Jesus in heaven? Or with Satan in hell? It's up to all of us to make our own decisions. All right, we all make our own decisions as to what we're going to do. But I know that the power of God is greater than Satan's. And there we have God's power. Nothing can destroy the power of God. And anyone who tries will fail. What's that? What's under my elbow? Nothing's under my elbow. Oh, you mean this one? Ah, 
You mean that? Well, that's something completely different because you see this shows you the defeated one, Satan. Satan has been defeated by the power of God. God's power, nothing or no one can destroy God's power. No one can stop God loving you. It cannot stop loving me. And that is what God wants for you to accept his love and live with him in eternity. That is what God wants and hopefully you will too but one thing for sure Satan does not want you to know the Lord and have the Lord live in your life to give you his instructions to have his love he wants you for himself but the power of God is greater have a good day